So, in this matchup, generally speaking, Fowler is going to have a slight advantage, I believe, over Falcon because Fowler just... Sonic just does a way better job of outspacing versus Falcon, but at the same time, Falcon could do the same thing, and also Falcon is a very easy to grab combo and whatnot, but I don't know how easily Falcon falls out of uh, Sonic's up air. I guess we're going to find out. All right, so Valorant right now up at, up to a uh, big lead, about a 40% lead, and whiffs. Oh, yeah, Valor's whiffing left and right. All right, good cancel into jab. Good spot dodge there. Mashing out of that combo. And Valor right now is just tacking, doing what Valor does, which is run away and tack up damage. Good platforms. Nair's going to come out. Oh, my God, he's all over this, guys. Hey, right, get this Toho crap out of here. All right. All right, you got to attack those, bro. All right, misses the edge guard. And Valor right now is going just... Ham on DGL. Where is this guy from? Idaho? Idaho? Okay. Spring's gonna hit him. Falcon getting heavy rage right now, and he is one up air neath at the ledge from being toast. Alright. Spin dash up air is not gonna do it. Tries to follow him up with the spring, and that beggar is gonna take off the first stock of DGL. Looking bad for DGL right now as he has quite the advantage to put up against with against Valor. And Valor, as you know, Sonics, they're very good at getting away and just running away. And they'll, they will camp you out. And most of the time, people stick with the uh, Smashville platform. Oh, my pool's coming up? Shit. And Umber is going to take off the stock. And a quick two-stock coming out from Valor. All right. I thought pools one through four were going. What is it? No. Pool five. Pool seven. I'm in pool eight. Yeah. Oh shit. All right. At least I think I'm in pool eight. Let me double check. Oh wait. Oh uh, wait. We got clutch. Dude, get your cursor off the screen. All right. So. Game two, we're gonna run it back to find or not run it back. Excuse me, run to a final destination, which uh, debatable on whether it's good or not for Sonic, because Sonic Sonic doesn't really need platforms to run away because he's so goddamn fast. But at the same time, Falcon's pretty fast himself, so I guess he'll have an easier time catching him. And Sonic, just, ooh, a little bit early on the grab there. Phantom hitbox coming out from Valor on the up air. It's not going to do it quite yet, and we're back to really the situation it was in game one where Valor is just tacking on damages, and he's going to get him up to about 130, 140-ish, and then finish him off with some cheesy Sonic combo. DGL needs to play a little bit more patiently as he's just grabbing way too early against Valor, and Valor does what Sonics do best, which is punish accordingly. Oh, that was a good recovery, riding up the stage of FD to get back on stage and avoid the spring gimp. Oh, tries to go for the side B recovery, but side B recovery is really bad in this game because it doesn't spike all the time. It's a hard spike hitbox to get, and it's also just not exact, and it's slow. I'd rather go, if they, even if they're recovering low, just go low and take the risk anyway. Reverse up B it. Okay, in the chat, Spencer literally cheered on himself. Oh, I'm not surprised. Spencer? Why? Why not? Ooh. Like, Ooh, yay, best Ooh. All right. So, game two is working even. I'm saying looking. I, I mean, looking even worse for DGL. Oh, he's got the 71%. Oh, it's working bad. Oh, it's looking hey, bad. Let's go. Oh, the taunt. Come on. All right. Are we going to see a taunt to get bodied? Is it over? Oh shit, is he dead? But style on him, you scrub! Alright. Alright, so DGL with the taunt to get bodied. Taunt to bodied. Yeah, no, he got taunt to get bodied. That was cool. That was.